Already quiet, this Vancouver restaurant that relies mainly on indoor dining will be hit hard by new restrictions, the tightest in nearly a year. For us, it means we're going from about 90 seats to 19, um, and we'll be laying off about 90% of our staff. The reason? The seven-day average is now nearly 800 cases per day, and health officials say it's critical to reverse the trend. A circuit breaker is now required to break the chains of transmission in our province and allow us to safely move forward through this next phase. She says indoor activities are the biggest threat, so dining inside at restaurants, indoor adult group fitness classes, and in-person religious gatherings will be suspended for at least three weeks. BC's Premier points his finger at 20 to 39-year-olds, saying they're not taking the threat seriously enough. My appeal to you is do not blow this for the rest of us. Do not blow this for your parents and your neighbours and others who have been working really, really hard, making significant sacrifices. Another big impact, the immediate shutdown of the province's largest ski area, Whistler Blackcomb. The resort has seen a significant number of cases and it's also being criticised as a magnet for non-essential travel. This is devastating and it's not something that we can take on alone. We will need the continued support of the federal and provincial governments. For now, dining on patios will still be allowed, but for many businesses and workers, more financial pain. Officials say it's necessary despite the hit. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, Vancouver.